The South Carolina Telehealth Alliance is a collaboration of many healthcare organizations working to expand telehealth across the state. Since 2014, the SCTA has organized efforts through a statewide strategic plan, which allows SCTA members across the state to work collaboratively to expand telehealth programs and to align telehealth education, broadband and internet infrastructure, and advocacy and awareness efforts. In 2021, the SCTA launched a new strategic plan format focused on grouping telehealth services by the value they bring to the state. In this new series, we will dive into each strategic bucket a little deeper and take a look at the impact these telehealth programs have brought to South Carolina. Health Equity Targeted, novel initiatives will close the gap in access to health care services for high-priority health disparities. This service bucket really focuses on making sure that everybody is served by their provider of choice and that we really work to reduce those health disparities which are mostly prevalent in our rural and underserved communities in the state. When you're doing a health equity service, it's not about necessarily what you're doing, but the why, or the how might be diverse. You might have different ways of doing it, but the end is to make sure that individual gets care they wouldn't get otherwise. And it's what most of us who got started in telehealth were going after. We wanted to solve gaps in care that weren't being provided by the current structure of the health system. We wanted to do better than that. So sort of by design, they're filling in a gap that no one's filling. So the biggest example we have is school-based telehealth. You know, it's always easy to set up shop in a clinic, a local community, but then you have the patients have to come to you and there's a gap in the care that kids are getting in any community. And so where do kids go? They all go to school. It's not easy to do healthcare in a school, but it's the right thing for the kids. Other important examples are women's behavioral health. You know, a pregnant woman who's struggling with addiction or, some, or a mental health issue, it's really important to get them stabilized and doing as good as they can because they're about to have a child. It's not a huge volume of patients compared to diabetes and heart disease, so not a lot of people have lasered in on that. And all the services and the strategies really need good data to make sure you're doing what you said you were doing. In this case, it's probably the most important because you can put a lot of effort into trying to solve a problem unless you know you're filling in the gap, well then that collective effort isn't, isn't worth as much. So data-driven, collaboration, multi-modality of doing telehealth, all to get a kid seen in a, in a rural community or, or a pregnant mother cared for or a, a patient discharged from the emergency room that's high risk of not getting follow-up care but might have post-traumatic stress disorder. How do you keep track of that individual? Or if it's a homeless person, uh, or perhaps patients with HIV that are lost to care, how do you solve those problems? And it, it sort of takes a village, and those fall cleanly under health equity strategy services. It's very, very cool that we have like a doctor on the TV, like online. I feel like I'm video chatting with somebody famous. Whenever I get hurt or sick, the teachers send me to the nurse and Miss Tina will check at it and see if I need a Band-Aid or call a parent. And if we need the telehealth machine, she'll set it up. The student will come in and for their visit and I will sit them in front of the computer screen. Our medical professional, Kelly Garber, sees my kids and we will connect through Vigio, and Vigio is a secure connection, and once we connect, Kelly can see us and we can see her. And there are different things. We have a stethoscope, and what I hear as I do the exam, Kelly hears also in real time. What I see during the exam, Kelly sees also in real time, and that way she's able to see and diagnose then and there, and also write the prescription, electronically send the prescription or call the prescription to their pharmacy and all the parent has to do is pick the prescription up. It is just like an office visit, except for it's virtual. Yes, ma'am. I'll describe the telehealth consultation by, I think it's cool and I don't have to wait for about 25 minutes in the, like they do in the doctor's office. And um, 
it's it is better for my mom so she wasn't so she doesn't have to come all the way to my school and take time off of her job. Being in the rural areas, um, the closest pediatrician is probably 30 miles away. I mean, we have medical office, but the closest pediatrician for the children is at least 30 miles away. And also, with a lot of parents having to work, I mean, we have, we have to work, you have to go to work. Sometimes it's hard to take off um, days when you have other things, like you might have more than one child. And it's hard to take off for illnesses and stuff. And if they're already at school, and, and the nurse can see them for a problem they may have, it could, it could be easier, very beneficial.